Uh, hello, uh, hi everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Yus Yusuf uh, from Leeds UK. Uh, I'm uh, reporting uh, on behalf of Room Now uh, for this year's uh, EULA 2021 Congress. Uh, today is uh, day two of our Congress and there have been many uh, interesting uh, studies and results uh, that have been prevented. But the one that, um, I, that, re one that really caught my eyes uh, is uh, a positive uh, phase two uh, results uh, of a sequential uh, therapy uh, using uh, rituximab followed by belimumab uh, for the treatment of systemic lupus erythematosus. Uh, this uh, study uh, was presented by uh, Professor Mike Ehrenstein uh, on behalf of his uh, beat lupus uh, colleagues uh, in the uh, abstract uh, title uh, OP0129. Uh, as we all uh, know, um, rituximab uh, failed uh, to make to meet the in, uh, the primary endpoints in the initial uh, pivotal uh, trials in systemic lupus erythematosus. Uh, however, uh, rituximab uh, has been uh, shown uh, and has been used uh, off label uh, in various uh, other uh, centers uh, with uh, quite high uh, efficacy rate. Um, one of the uh, problem with uh, rituximab uh, is uh, potentially uh, that uh, the depletion is uh, seldom complete uh, and also uh, there is a various uh, mechanism of resistance uh, to the therapy. So uh, one of, of the uh, idea um, or a possible mechanism uh, of this resistance uh, uh, is that uh, following uh, B cell depletion uh, using rituximab, uh, the buff uh, level rises, uh, hence uh, leading to uh, increased uh, production of uh, uh, autoantibodies. Uh, so therefore, uh, this uh, phase two trial, which is called beat lupus trials, uh, aim to investigate whether if you give belimumab uh, uh, after rituximab, uh, it will um, you know, reduce the, uh, the buff level and also the uh, auto autoantibody level um, so that we can have a better uh, efficacy and a sustained response. So uh, this uh, study is a phase two a randomized uh, trial. Um, so the uh, investigators uh, recruited uh, 52 patients um, so uh, each of them, uh, also all of the patients were treated with uh, rituximab uh, at baseline. Um, so in between four to eight weeks after the first infusion, uh, they then uh, receive uh, belimumab uh, infusion monthly. Um, so the primary endpoint uh, is uh, the uh, log uh, anti double cell DNA uh, at uh, 52 weeks. So the endpoint we use here is a biomarker endpoint rather than clinical efficacy. Um, however, uh, the secondary endpoints, uh, they also uh, measured uh, the uh, disease activity, uh, flare uh, and, uh, and safety. So in this uh, study, um, they, what uh, the investigators have found uh, at 52 weeks, uh, more patients who receive rituximab followed by belimumab um, achieve uh, uh, significantly reduce uh, log anti DS DNA antibody compared to those um, who were treated with rituximab uh, followed by a placebo. Uh, so, hence, their primary endpoint uh, was met. Um, we then you know, look into uh, the clinical endpoint, which is uh, the severity of flare up, uh, which is uh, you know, graded as bi-lag, you know, uh, instrument, bi-lag grade A. Uh, and here uh, there is, um, so treatment, this sequential combination therapy uh, actually uh, have a, a lower uh, risk of uh, uh, severe flares compared to uh, rituximab uh, plus, plus placebo. So this is really an uh, intriguing uh, result. Uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, drugs development. 
Um, and this also uh, contrasts um, uh, with uh, re uh, recent uh, published uh, studies, uh, which uh, evaluated this, uh, this sequential uh, therapy um, in lupus nephritis, uh, which was published last year in uh, uh, Arthritis and Rheumatology website. Uh, therefore, um, in terms of uh, applicability to clinical practice, um, would we use this uh, sequential uh, therapy uh, in clinical practice? Um, so I think what we need, uh, we need more um, sort of larger scale uh, trial. Uh, I suspect that this, um, you know, will translate into a phase two trials uh, to assess this um, because uh, I expect as well to do a phase three trials, uh, they would have uh, had to use a, a clinical endpoint as a primary endpoint in order to gain uh, FDA and uh, EMA approval. Uh, I think uh, once uh, you know, we have the data of the phase three trials, uh, then after that, um, you know, this can be uh, used in clinical practice. But certainly, um, you know, this results is uh, uh, intriguing. Uh, and a positive news uh, for uh, the lupus community because we are seeing uh, many more uh, positive uh, you know, trials in the field of systemic lupus. Uh, as, as we all know, uh, it is very difficult to uh, conduct a trial uh, in a disease with uh, a heterogeneity in clinical manifestation. So I hope uh, you find that uh, uh, review useful. Um, so uh, tune in to uh, Rheumatology uh, room, room Now for more video uh, and updates. Uh, and you can uh, follow me at my Twitter handle, uh, Yus6Yusuf. Thank you for listening.